Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. In this video, we're taking a look at the Elegoo Mars 3 3D printer. Elegoo was kind enough to send this to me for review. Not only that, but they also sent me their Mercury Plus wash and cure machine. So we're gonna look at both of those in this video. We're gonna go over um, how it's used, what it can do. Let's get into it. The Mars 3 3D printer came with obviously the printer. It also came with a toolkit where you've got various tools you'll be using. It came with a scraper to scrape your prints off of the build platform. It came with a funnel to restore your leftover resin after a print. We've also got a USB thumb drive to print the files. And they were kind enough to send gloves and masks, which are very, very important when it comes to safety. Liquid resin is not the safest thing to work with. It's actually a toxic substance. So let's go ahead and go over safety right now. Always wear gloves and a mask are reactions to resin change. So yeah, just because you get a little on you and nothing happens for the first time, you might get a chemical burn the next time. So always wear gloves, long sleeves, mask, and glasses or, you know, goggles or something. They also included a little USB air filter, which is really cool because you don't want to breathe the fumes of this. You want to do this in a ventilated area, even though it's covered. So the inclusion of the air filter is really cool and it runs on USB. Make sure you open it up and take the plastic off of the carbon filter first. You don't want to run it with the plastic on there because then it won't do anything. So let's take that plastic off, put the carbon filter back inside, close it up. The manual goes over everything you need to get this set up. I'm just gonna go over the basic stuff and if you need in-depth stuff, it's in the manual. Basically, we need to calibrate the build platform Z axis, which is uh, how high, how close it gets to the actual LCD screen. It's pretty simple process. Use a piece of paper, you put it between the LCD screen and the build platform, and then you just adjust it a little bit here and there until you can just pull that paper out from between. You don't want it to be so tight that you can't pull the paper out. You don't want to be so loose that the paper just falls out. Now, I also said that they sent me the Mercury Plus cure, wash and cure machine. This thing is awesome and essential in my opinion, because otherwise you're going to have to find a way to safely wash and cure your 3D uh, models that you're printing with resin. And this just makes it so much easier and safer and cleaner. So we got everything set up. Let's go ahead and do our very first resin 3D print. We want to fill the bath up no higher than the fill line. For the, this one, you don't even need all of that. I, I found that uh, there was a lot of leftover, so you could even do it halfway between the fill line and empty, and that would probably work too. Make sure you are wearing gloves and a face mask, and make sure that you're doing this in a well-ventilated area. I didn't really have a ventilated area in my basement, so I moved to the garage <laughs> and I did this in my garage with the garage door open. Now go ahead and put the cover on top, make sure the printer is level and doesn't wobble, plug the USB into the printer right in the front and on that USB you will find a file called rock.ctb. Select that and go ahead and start printing. It's not a rock though, it's a rook like from chess. So I think that's a typo, but the file itself is even called rock.ctb. So there's that. Once the printing is done, we're going to need to wash these with 95% or higher ethyl alcohol. I found some isopropyl alcohol and it was 92%. That's all I could find. So that's what I used and it worked just fine. Now it's time to use the Mercury Plus to wash and cure our print. It comes with kind of like a, a tall tub, like Tupperware type thing. Fill that up with the 95% alcohol. To make sure I had enough, what I did was I just put the basket in there and then I filled it up with alcohol to the top of where the basket stopped. We put our 3D prints into that basket and lower the basket into the liquid. Shake it around just a little bit. Don't be too rough with it, but just shake it up a little bit to sort of, you know, get things started. You can put that cleaning bucket right right onto the Mercury Plus. For this part, you don't need to cover it with the UV lid. Just go ahead and touch time plus or time minus to set the washing time. After that, just push the on slash off button to start cleaning the model. I found that washing it for just a few minutes worked fine. I think maybe I did mine for five minutes. After that, you can go ahead and lift the basket out to remove the model. Go ahead and set the model aside. 
let it dry for a little bit, air dry, take that platform, the turning turntable platform, and set it where the bucket was. So it'll kind of let like latch in a little bit. And your model goes on top of that. Again, touch time plus or time minus to set the curing time. After that, touch on and just let it go. And this is just like a five minute process. So you give it a try, F set it for five minutes and let it cure for five minutes. When the curing's done, the machine will beep. You can take your 3D print out of there. And at this point, it's safe to take your gloves off and handle this with your hands. You have to let it cure first, which we've done. I even washed mine a little bit more, just rinsed it in water just to be 100% safe, I guess. And then, yeah, you can touch it. It's totally safe at this point. But up until this point, always wear your gloves. I haven't had to do this yet, but if we want to recycle the washing liquid, here's how we're gonna do that. Um, basically, you set the tub with the liquid in it out in the sun let it sit there for like 10 hours and it should make the resin separate from the alcohol and then you can just strain the alcohol through a strainer and collect that resin and that's safe to throw in the garbage what you can't do is throw liquid resin or alcohol down the drain or in the garbage because that is a safety hazard these are chemicals <laughs> we can't do that so if you can't do it this way and you need to dispose of the liquid resin you're going to have to take it to the appropriate facility near you you're just going to have to you know look that up google it find out where you can take hazardous chemicals and that's where you you take them to dispose of them a uh, good thing to do for the resin is maybe keep um, a, a, a tub nearby where you can dump the old resin that you don't need anymore, the stuff that like waste resin and all that stuff. That way you can either take that tub, make sure it's clear, you know, transparent. You can cure that in the same way. And if you can get that resin to cure, then you can just throw it in the garbage. However, if it's still liquid, you can't get it to cure, you will have to take it to a hazardous waste facility to dispose of it. Do not put this in the garbage or down the drain. Definitely not down the drain. Now, when everything is said and done, um, I my, my print wasn't 100% per perfect. There are little blemishes, I, I suppose you would say, but it turned out way better. Like, look at, it says, you can see the Elegoo Mars 3 logo right there. Really nice and crisp. This is a 4K uh, 3D printer, so it's gonna look really nice. You can see the words in here on this Rook. And there we go. See, look at that. It even has like a little spiral on the inside. Look at all that detail. I will say that this is way better than a traditional 3D printer. The PLA, I believe it's called. This looks professional. So this is awesome. I love this. And I have DIY ideas. In fact, um, I've got one coming up where I am going to use this 3D printer. So keep an eye out for that. I'm still learning, so I want to make sure that I can make it perfect without these blemishes and things. This is probably due to settings or user error. It's not the machine, it's me. So the only thing that I will say, and this goes for all 3D printers, if you have used a 3D printer before, you're used to this, so you know. But if you're just going to buy your very first 3D printer, they take a very long time to print. This took over three hours. It was almost four hours to print these rooks. And the DIY project that I'm gonna be doing is going to take about seven hours to print. So be prepared for long print times. That is not a unique thing for this uh, Mars 3 3D printer. It's all 3D printers. So what do I think of resin printing as opposed to PLA 3D printing? If you are after quality of prints, definitely resin. This is no match. But if you're after something that has less cleanup, less maintenance, something you can don't have to really have a filter for and worry about fumes and stuff, go with the PLA printer because that one will basically do um, lower quality versions of this. I would really recommend the Mars 3 uh, Pro 3D printer. i and get that wash and cure station too, the uh, Mercury Plus. You're just going to need that and, unless you want to like get your own custom setup and, and do it yourself, that's fine. But if you want it to be easier, <laughs> cleaner, 
you're going to want the Mercury Plus as well. I'm not just saying this because they sent them to me. I was interested in this before they sent it to me. Yeah, so this video is basically just to help you guys get started, like a quick start type thing for the Mars 3 and the Mercury Plus. Let me know if this video did help you guys. Let me know if there's any DIYs you would like me to try using the Mars 3 Pro. If you made it all the way to the end of the video with me, you're a Wizard Harry. Give the video a thumbs up down below if you did like it, and subscribe if you're not subscribed for more Harry Potter DIYs and unboxings and cool stuff like 3D printing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.